Hello everyone, I'm going to show you a little bit of a bite-sized tip today about the automator plugin. So how can you automate like batch actions? Uh, so we we imagine that uh, you were creating like the, the components uh, for icons in your library and, and, and they're just pretty much imported from another resource. Uh, so in this case, Feather icons. Uh, so when you copy them over here, you see that there are instances that you don't want that, like you don't want to now create a component out of this instance. You want to first detach and then you want to clean it up a little bit and then you want to create a component out of it, right? Um, that would mean doing this thing over and over and over again, but not thanks to the automator plugin. Now you can do something very nice. So you can see here the plugins automator from diagram. I think it costs $5 a month. And, 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 but you, you can actually use it for free. Like you'd have just one automation, uh, on the free tier. Uh, in this case, I'm going to import the JSON just for the sake of ease. Uh, let's import this one, this JSON I'll provide on the video notes so you can actually reuse it that will. Uh, and you can see that it gets a current selection. This is very akin to what you would do with, uh, with code. So it's a visual scripting tool. Uh, you can actually like check the on diagram. There's like already a few community ones there uh, and people will just kind of like post it there from time to time and you can see how they do it. And you can, I think kind of like quickly uh, understand how this works. Uh, but if not, you just uh, ask someone that, that actually knows how to code, how to do this for you, uh, which is not that hard. Uh, so we see that we get the current selection. So we selected all the icons. Uh, then we have for each of the icons, you want to detach. And then what you want to do is you want to remove the fill, this one here on the right. You want to convert to a component and then you want to set the component description. Uh, in this case, I'm explaining where these icons come from. And then we have uh, the famous alternative names uh, where some people might not call it an icon. They might call it a symbol or a graphic or a glyph. Just add your alternative names here. You, you're more than free to edit this when, when you import it. Uh, and then you have the docs link. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to show you like what, what happens now. Uh, I have my selection. I click run. And now I see that the automation is running, it's detaching, it's doing removal of the field and creating a new component. And then you got a little bit of warning there saying like it ran. So it kind of finished its thing. So now you see that all of these components are, are now components on your library, right? Uh, so you could combine them as variants. You could publish them. Uh, it, that would be really nice, right? Like now it save like probably like a, a few minutes uh, just on this little task. Uh, I'm going to close it uh, and, and now let's do command option L to uh, just minimize all these layers. You see that they're not in alphabetical order and, and that's on purpose. That's what, that's something I did. I randomized them uh, with the sort layers plugin. Uh, and, and, and now what we actually want out of this is, um, there's a quick way to now alphabetize this, which is, uh, you press uh, shift a, and then you have a uh, auto layout. Uh, so now they're in alphabetical order. Oh, that thing is coming in the way. I'm going to push it a little bit down. Uh, so yeah, you see like auto layout naturally puts everything in alphabetical layer, which is also a nice thing for you to know. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to remove the auto layout and, and I want to put this back in a grid, right? So let's, uh, command, uh, forward slash griddle. Oh, I don't have it. Good. Uh, so let's do it there. Griddle. Cool. Let me, uh, save this one. Let's run griddle. How many columns? Let's say I want, uh, hmm, I want eight columns. I want 24 pixels between each. Yes. Good. Good. I want them to be ascending. I think. Ah, oh, yeah. Let, let me just reselect all of this. Oh, it's still a frame. Okay. Ungroup. 
Uh, live demos. This is how it works. Uh, so now we can do Gridle again. There we go. Now we can do eight columns with 24 pixels. Gap and sort descending. And there we have it. So yeah, their standing was right. Like So now we have them in alphabetical order, in, in a grid. It actually was different than our first grid, but that's fine. Uh, so you get to bit of an idea. You could use Automator for anything that's repetitive, right? Like, so in case you wanted to do more cleanups, you could, for instance, uh, rename everything to the same like layer name so that when you then change colors, you're going to get the same color. Uh, even if you if you change like the instance and everything, that's the key for icons to retain color between variants and between instances. Is that everything inside it has the same name? Uh, so another another maybe bonus tip there. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, catch you later.